The eighth race, one mile on the firm turf course. It's the pulpit, $75,000 guaranteed. A scratch to 12, Hubba Shake, and the 14 in Oculus. And note that the off-time favorite is number five, Fire Spike. And they're off in the pulpit stakes. Smooth beginning inside for Cronin the Barbarian, who reaches up for the early lead. Here comes Less Than Perfect on the offensive early. Less Than Perfect puts ahead in front. Kutuzov will go with him from the hedge position. They're two lengths better than I'm Venezuelan, who sets up shop from third. Then it's Cronin the Barbarian, fire spike between horses. Unsaintly on the outside. Two-step temper is down on the inside a bit keen. Then it's a length and a half back to the outside. Night Prowler saving ground is Jacob's way. It's another two lengths to Chief Kitten. He's third last. Second last on the inside is Ready Strike. And last of all here, the early trailer is Night Out. Into the backstretch they go after the opening quarter went in a sharp 22 and 4. Kutuzov at 90 to 1. He's winging up top with a five length lead. Less than perfect is second. I'm Venezuelan is third. Fire Spike and Cronin the Barbarian with inside position on the inside now about five lengths behind. Then it's unsaintly and two step temper. Jacob's way up the hedge. Three lengths back to the outside. Night Prowler to his inside Chief Kitten. Then night out and trailing ready strike. Half mile 46 and 1. The pace has been robust as they swing to the far turn. Kutuzov starts to come back. Back to the field, and here's Fire Spike four wide. Cronin the Barbarian needs a little racing room down inside with two step temper next. Night Prowler swings into action, and they run to the top of the stretch. Cronin the Barbarian got an absolutely amazing split there, and he just took the lead as Fire Spike was sent wide. Following that move was Chief Kitten, and Jacobs weighs up the inside lane. Inside the final furlong, Gunkalvis with a dream trip for Cronin the Barbarian. He kicks clear down the outside. Night Prowler coming on. Jacobs way up the inside lane. Cronin the Barbarian almost home. Sir Night Prowler photo finish. In between horses, it was Chief Kitten who got the bob at Cronin the Barbarian. Night Prowler on the outside. Jacob's way is fourth at 137 and one. Number seven, Chief Kitten. What a great finish. Just gets up to win it for owners Ken and Sarah Ramsey. Pays $13 to win. Trained by Chad Brown and ridden to victory today by our leading rider, Edgar Desires. We'll take a short break and be back for our late daily double, which is keyed by the Smooth Air. Sport of Kings, Florida's most unique venue, located at beautiful Gulfstream Park, has hosted elegant weddings, spectacular concerts, and the grandest of social events. Surrounded by lush gardens, pedestrian promenades, and inviting streetscapes in the signature style of Addison Meisner, Sport of Kings is the ideal venue for intimate gatherings or groups as large as 500. Our events coordinators and audio and visual production specialists can customize the room to any needs, while our chefs can create scrumptious menus. For information on holding your next event at Gulfstream Park's Sport of Kings, call our event specialists at 954 Four five seven six one eight six. Welcome back. The late daily double starts with the smooth air. It's one mile on the fast main track for two year olds. Ten runners will be going to the post. The off time favorite number one, Mr. Jordan. And they're off in the smooth air stakes. Some big time crowding in the center gates, so that's the favorite, Mr. Jordan, who springs out to take the early lead, with Juan and Bina moving up on his outside to be second. In between horses, it's Lucky Delfino down to the inside, Morgan's Harbor. Hubba Shake is three wide, Fear That Cowboy is four wide. It's a stretch of another three and a half lengths back to the inside, Hero of Honor. Another two lengths to the outside is hum that tune in between horses is honor earned and on the inside the judge chuckles they bend into the backstretch after the opening quarter went in 24 and 3 it's the heavy favorite mr jordan and gabe sias by a hit on the outside one and bina is there second morgan's harbor gets a tracking spot while third lucky delfino is fourth between horses hubba shake out wide on the course is fear the cowboy then it's a length back to hero of honor Two lengths more to the outside, honor earned, then the judge chuckles, and trailing the field is here, that tune. They went a half mile in 48 and three, second quarter quicker than the first. Juan and Bina takes it to the inside horse, Mr. Jordan. They begin to open now at the three furlong point. They've put five lengths between themselves and Hubba Shake, who's now third. Toward the outside, 
Fear the Cowboy is fourth. That's all for Morgan's Harbor. Then honor earned. But the match race is on up top. And now the pace quickens. There's a quarter of a mile to go. They went three quarters and 113 flat. And they're at the top of the stretch. Under very confident handling, Mr. Jordan cuts the corner a bit green. But he shifts leads and shifts into another gear. Juan and Bina is there. Second, Hubba Shake is now third. Back fourth, Fear the Cowboy with honor earned. But they're at the 16th pole. And to be the man, you have to beat the man. And here in South Florida, nobody's beat Mr. Jordan yet. Ultra impressive, a wrapped up three length winner. Juan and Bina second from Hubba Shake third. It's a very close photo for fourth between honor earned and Fear the Cowboy and 139 and two. The ninth race winner, number one, Mr. Jordan, owned by David Mellon, Leon Elman, and Laurie Plisa, Eddie Plisa Jr., the trainer, and ridden to victory today by Gabriel Saez. Tenth and final race, one mile on the turf. It's the way to wild, $75,000 guaranteed. Two-year-old Philly scratched the also eligible entries, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And runners away in the way to wild stakes. Toward the inside, Fearless Princess begins the best and goes looking for the lead. Quickly up to challenge is Hangover Saturday and Walking the Kittens a bit keen between horses and taken back to run third. Catfight Cowgirl is next, followed inside by Consumer Credit. Nikki's Brown Miss on her outside. Widest of all is the Great Liz Moore, two lengths in front of a ducking over Skinner box already on the hedge is Arctic Ocean as they bend into the first turn. Toward the outside and third last is Like a Queen. Toward her inside is Fila Primera and Red Sachet is last of all as they race into the back stretch. With the lead, it's Fearless Princess, but only narrowly. Hangover Saturday on the outside, second. Walking the Kitten continues to tug at Prado. She's now in the clear, three wide while third. It's a length back to Catfight Cowgirl, moving up on the inside consumer credit. Vizayas um, occupied the hole that Prado vacated there and has moved up to be a joint third with Walking the Kitten. Then on the inside, it's Nikki's Brown Miss with Lies Moore. Toward the inside, Fila Primera has moved closer, a neck better than Arctic Ocean. Catfight Cowgirl got the shuffle, a length and a half in front of Skinner Box, still at the back, both like a queen and red sachet. They kick to the far turn after a half mile that went in 47 and 2. Around the far turn they go and consumer credits the first one to make a move. Walking the kitten is bolted to the outside fence. Red sachet is rolling from last under Zimmerman. Now the pace quickens. Three quarters. 112 and 2 and they're at the top of the stretch. From the outside consumer credits set down for the drive and has the lead now by two. Nikki's Brown misses next. Lies more to the outside. Toward her inside. Fila Primeris coming on. Inside the final furlong. Another excellent job of turf riding by Edgar Zayas and Consumer Credit on to victory. Chad Brown and Edgar Zayas again. It's Consumer Credit by three. Lies more second. Nikki's Brown missed third in front of Fila Primera fourth. Close fifth. Give it to Red Sachet over Skitter Box to complete your high five. They covered the course at 136 and three. Number seven, Consumer Credit wins the wait a while and for owners Claridge Stable and William Lawrence, that gives trainer Chad Brown his second win on the card and gives jockey Edgar Zayas his second stakes victory on the card. In the pick four, four of four, one thirty-four thirty-five. The pick five, five of five, one thousand one hundred sixty-four dollars seventy cents. Four of five, thirteen dollars and ninety-five cents. Rainbow six, six of six. Numerous tickets, two thousand six hundred thirty-seven dollars and eighty cents. We'll have a mandatory payout tomorrow in the Rainbow Six. The carryover, two hundred sixty-eight thousand seven hundred ninety-one dollars and ninety-one cents. And that wraps up Saturday's races. The Rainbow Six was not hit today. There was no single tickets tomorrow. Mandatory payout. I wonder if there's going to be a million dollars in it. You're going to have to pay attention to Gulfstream Park West. Good night and good luck.